Hey guys, welcome to your bonus love reading. This is going to be for uh, Sagittarius for your uh, rest of your March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So this is a no contact reading. We're going to take a look at see if it's a good idea for you guys to reach out to this individual and what will happen if there's sort of at any sort of contact between you guys and what you guys need to look forward to moving forward. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video videos post and when i go live also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok instagram my other youtube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Sagittarius. Sagittarius in love. The person that Sagittarius is in no contact with, is it a good idea for Sagittarius to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with for the uh, rest of March 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sag. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. I would say it's a not it's not a good idea to reach out to this individual here. This person plays a lot of mind games. This person lies a lot. This person gaslights here. This person manipulates. So any sort of communication that you have with this person, it's not really going to go anywhere. Because what it comes down to is that you guys are not really looking for the same things here. Uh, your core values don't really align here. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with here um, is not a very loyal person. Okay, so, you know, I do feel like this is a very intense twin flame connection here that you guys have. I do feel like with the uh, chariot in the reverse, I feel like this connection is not really going to move forward or that it's not really going to change here. Um, yeah, some of the cups here, you know, I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of illusions that this person is definitely creating here. And I feel like sometimes when you are dealing with this person, you feel like you're going crazy or that you feel like you're losing your mind here. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? I'm so sorry, you guys. My allergies are kicking up like crazy. I just came back to my boyfriend's parents' house and he de they did some work here. <clears throat> so it's kind of like, like like all the dust is just kicked up. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Seven of Swords. We have the Five of Swords here and the Wheel of Fortune. This person's definitely coming back, not changed here. I do feel like you're dealing with the karmic here. Whoever this is with the Page of Cups, this person's incredibly immature. I mean, if you're not reaching out to this person, this person's reaching out to you. We have the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? And the Ace of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. And the Two of Swords. Um, I do feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is definitely has a hard time admitting that they did something wrong. If you catch them in the act doing something here, this person will say that they didn't do it, you know, and this person will never apologize for hurting your feelings here, for hurting you. I feel like this person has yet to give you any sort of sincere apology here with the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, I do feel like for you, there's no working things out with this person because Sagittarius, I feel like you'd rather be alone than actually surround yourself with this person or this type of individual here. What else do we have here for Sag? What else do we have here for Sag? What else does Sagittarius need to know? Um, what will happen if there's any sort of communication between Sagittarius and the person that they are uh, in no contact with? <clears throat> We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. That's you right here with the page of wands. Yeah. One of the things I'm getting here is that Sagittarius, I feel like you really made peace with the situation here. 
you know, I feel like you learned your lessons here. I feel like you've grown a lot from this experience here. You know, I feel like perhaps you realize that you got into the situation because there's a unhealed, there's a part of yourself that was unhealed that was showing up in this connection here. And I feel like you guys have been actively working on that, perhaps healing that inner child here with that page of wands. Page of wands, Aries, Little Sag, Justice, Libra, Energy, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the Three of Cups here. Oh, God. And also the uh, Sum of Pentacles. Sorry, you guys. My allergies are really kicking up here. Um, so the Three of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. I do feel like this person, moving forward, they will try and reconcile here with you. They will try and reconnect with you here. Like, they want to go out, get coffee with you or something like that, talk. But I feel like you're turning your back or not wasting your time on this situation here. I feel like with the Judgment card here and the Temperance card here, I feel like you found closure here. But I feel like this person hasn't ha really had closure here with you. I'm not quite sure why this person is looking for closure here with you. But, you know, I do feel like this person definitely has a tendency to lie. This person de definitely has a tendency to gaslight here. So I feel like, you know, if they did do something to you, they, they're going to make it look like you did it to them. So I feel like that's why this person makes you go crazy. You know, this person makes you go crazy. Tell me about the Justice card. Why is this Justice card here? Justice and the seven, uh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you'd rather just be alone than to deal with this person here. Right now with the Nine of Pentacles, you're in this very abundant energy, okay? Your finances are doing well here. Yeah, Three of Swords here and the King of Cups. What hap what's happening, I feel like as you, the, the no contact continue, continues to carry on, I feel like this person's definitely going to realize that they broke their own heart by doing all this here. And it stems from their own trauma and their own pain that they never dealt with here themselves, you know? So... One clear sign of an enlightened person where someone here has gone through so much pain and so much hurt. Someone will never go out of their way to go and hurt somebody. But this person is definitely going out of their, uh, their way here. And it's not really a conscious thing that they're doing here. It's an unconscious thing that they're doing. They don't even realize it. With the Three of Cups here and the Five of Wands. This person is going to get pretty pissed off here. That you're going to remain no in no contact with them and i feel like this person is definitely in fear and worry that they will lose you forever because i feel like this person is definitely still in love with you and they're going to communicate that to you <coughs> sad to cherries i'm so sorry you guys oh my god yeah i'm so sorry so eight of wands here and the ace of cups this person is still in love with you they will they're, they so i feel like this person is going to be frantic frantic to try and get you back as the new communication continues here. And they feel like you will continue to just block this person and not talk to this person here. Guys, I'm so sorry about the allergies, but I have to get this work done, okay? So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.